Welcome to a session on postmodernism. This is an introductory session on postmodernism, the concept of postmodernism. So, postmodernism is a philosophical, cultural, and literary movement that emerged in the mid 20th century as a reaction against ideas of modernism. So, there are many many factors and many elements that actually uh, uh, you know emulates the concept of postmodernism it basically it it rejects the ideals or concepts of objectivity uh, you know uh, of uh, the universal truths the grand narratives a fixed meaning for everything and uh, it basically uh, suggests the ideals of postmodernism suggest that there are different meanings for one single thing there are different truths for one single thing it is the reality is fragmented it is subjective there are individual experiences individual differences and it is all shaped by individual experience and in literature postmodernism it plays with the narrative structures so it also it's not just the meanings but in the structural creation as well postmodernism has influenced a great deal so the key characteristics of postmodernism the first is uh, its skepticism towards grand narratives so the concept of grand narratives itself is you know kept aside it is skeptical of the overarching stories that claim to explain the world uh, you know the realities of the world um, like things about religion you know all those books on religion and spirituality and the world truths and progress and sign all these are grand narratives that postmodernism rejects and it argues that there are multiple competing perspectives none of which hold ultimate truth there might be different truths to one single thing and that is the uh, uh, you know primary uh, uh, characteristic of postmodernism another characteristic is about uh, uh, you know how they use or uh, uh, how postmodern writers use metafiction that is fiction about fiction so postmodern texts are usually uh, you know it talks about the storytelling itself so uh, john bard's lost in a fun house is one ex such example that you have where the writer jumps once in a while to explain about the act of story writing or act of writing or storytelling itself so it is it often becomes a metafiction this is another feature used by postmodern writers then fragmentation and non linearity so it often rejects how there is you know one single line of truth or one single narrative for everything or one single reason for everything instead it is fragmented it is spread out there is no sequence or order or chronology to certain things it is disoriented in many ways and it reflects the idea that human experience is similarly fractured so it doesn't although we might think that our thought patterns and our uh, you know ideals and the activities are all set in a certain chronology but it is actually fragmented in nature which might not sometimes have a certain chronology so here again postmodern writers use the same techniques there is fragmentation and non linearity then there is relativism and subjectivity so instead of talking about you know world truths or the objective truths it focuses on subjective realities that is what might be true for one person might not be true for another person so that is the concept of subjectivity and there is also use of irony playfulness and parody in postmodernism so uh, in writer in writings you usually see these features and there is also intertextuality so intertextuality is when uh, you know uh, it there is no clear boundaries or connections between multiple there the you know often references made in texts about certain other works so it it creates a certain connections between multiple works so basically the the what the postmodern writers are trying to do by uh, uh, you know uh, using such techniques is to let go of boundaries there are no boundaries that this is one work and that is certain other work so there is no differences or boundaries instead all works are collated together and uh, there is also uncertainty and open endedness is another characteristic used by postmodern writers and uh, that you see in works there is no closure or climax a proper climax that actually gives you uh, the solace that you need it never there are certain questions that is left unanswered 
So this reflects the belief that life itself is open-ended and that the meaning is always shifting. So these are the few characteristics of postmodernism, which is especially emulated in the work uh, by John Barth, uh, Lost in the Fun House. Thank you.